In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Linktree Shop. Now, this will be a full guide explaining all of the features. I'll give you some tips and tricks on how you can use this, and I'll also show you some backend settings which you might need to change. So here we are in Linktree. Now, before Linktree only had the links section, so you could add your links to different socials. Now they've introduced Linktree Shop. Now this is fairly old now, but I'm just making a video on it and I wanna make the best video possible on Linktree Shop. So if you click on Linktree Shop, it will then take you to the shop section. Now by default, you will be able to switch between links and shop and so will the people that click on your link in bio. So on links, what I would do is add your social links and on shop, you can essentially sell things. Now you can sell either your own products, maybe it's a digital product, you can sell Amazon affiliate products and you can organize those products in different collections. So if you go add, you can go collection. So right now we've got a camera collection and in this camera collection, there are free products. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete this and I'll show you how you can add your Amazon affiliate products and then how you can add your own digital product to sell with Linktree. Then I'll show you some settings which you will need to change because sometimes you won't want your whole shop taking up all of the space on the Linktree page. So you can actually change that as well and edit those settings. So go to shop, go to add. Now let's say first we're going to recommend some products. I'm a YouTuber, so I'll recommend some products that you can use to make YouTube videos. So we'll go to collection and then what I'll call this is YouTube setup. So we'll go YouTube setup, then we can go add products. Now I've already got these products imported already, but what we'll do is I'll show you how to create a new product and import it. So I'm going to import a product from Amazon. Now I'm a part of the Amazon affiliate program already. I've made videos on how you can sign up to that. And I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with it anyway. What you need to do once you've signed up is search for a product. So I'll just search for my Rode microphone, NT-USB. And this is the microphone I'm recording with right now. If I wanted to recommend this mic, I will click on it. I will go get link and then we can grab a short link of this mic. Now, if anyone was to buy after clicking on this link, I would earn a commission. So we'll copy this link. We'll then go back to Linktree. We'll paste it in and we'll click enter. Now it's gonna recognize that mic. We can go ahead and add it to the collection. Now, once you've added it, if you click on edit and then click on the actual product, you can upload your own custom image. You can change the title. So let's say you don't want all of this. So we'll go and delete all of this. So we'll just keep it as Rode NT-USB professional grade. And then I'll put here microphone. You've got the price, you've got the currency. This is just gonna grab it from Amazon. So I would just keep it the same. Then you can save those changes. Now what you can do is you can add as many products as you want to this collection and you will just import them on Amazon. You will go and search them and you will then import them. Once you've done that, you will start to see your products here. So you can see we've got the YouTube setup collection here on the shop page. Now you notice in mine, they don't actually show on the links section. That's because I changed the setting because I didn't want them showing up on links. I just wanted them in the shop section. The other thing that I'm gonna show you how to do, if you want to sell a digital product with Linktree, you can do that. You can't actually create your own digital product within Linktree, but if you go to a website like Payhip, you can create and upload your digital product here. Let's just use this one, Southeast Asia Travel Guide. So if I click on this, this is already set up. Now I will create another video showing you how to set this up with Linktree. But once you've set this up, you can just essentially copy the link to this landing page, and then you can go ahead and click add. You can go product, we can paste in that link, and there you go, it recognizes it. It also recognizes the price, which is correct as well. We can then import this, and this is gonna be its own standalone product. Now I would need to upload a custom thumbnail in this case because this thumbnail on the actual product page isn't the right dimensions, but that is the product and then the Amazon products. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and look at this and then I'll show you the settings which I would advise changing. So if we go to the share, we can copy our link tree URL and we can paste it in. Now here we've got our links, we've got our shop. Now our shop isn't updated, now, for some reason, I don't know why whenever I update this shop, it takes up to five minutes to update. It is a little bit buggy sometimes, but just bear with it. It will update eventually. I had this problem before. For now, though, we'll just go ahead and click on the collection, which is going to be the Amazon affiliate links. And then if someone wanted to buy, let's say, a vlogging camera, they could click on it. It would then 
redirect them to the affiliate link where they could then buy. And if they bought, we would then earn a commission. So that's basically how you can use it. Let me just show you this one setting, which you might need to know. So go to settings, then scroll down and you'll see shop settings. Make sure your shop is displayed by clicking this one. Now I unchecked set shop as main tab. Now when your visitors arrive, they'll see set shop as main tab. They'll see your shop first. If you don't want that, uncheck it. And then you've got preview shop on links page. I didn't want this either because it's going to put your shop like above your links and I don't really like it. I don't want all of my shop above my links. So I uncheck this. And that's basically the settings. That's an overview of how to use it. I hope that video was helpful.